And this is the new feature, uh, which is a still preview, of course, working on it, but uh, it expands the columns to fit in the width of the table. So as you can see, if I expand the size, it uses that entire size um, as the uh, to fit all the columns. Even if I go and make, for example, this column smaller, it uh, still doesn't help with that. You see that column is uh, still going and expanding and takes the entire space. If I make this uh, smaller, you see that's still like that. Now, uh, this feature by itself is a good thing because it enables us to like have the right fitting in our table visual, but it's disturbing for this kind of scenario. How you can disable it? Really simple. You'll select the visual, you'll go to the format tab. In the format tab, you'll go and find column headers under the visual section, column headers. And then in the, the, in the column headers, you'll go to the options. And here you see this O2, width, O2 size width. If I disable it, then it goes to fitting to the content. On the other hand side, if you have a mm, table visual like this and you want this to fit to the entire size of the table visual, you come here and you change the resize behavior uh, instead of fit to content to grow to fit. At the moment, grow to fit is the default option, but you can change it. So when you set it to grow to fit, it would fit there. What I found is that normally if you have a text column at the end, grow to fit works nicely. Like if I go to here and I bring English education at the end, grow to fit fits nicer in this view because it doesn't cut like the last part. Usually like mm, numbers are indented to the right. That's why it looks cut, like cut, but here with the text, it looks better. 